everyone, it's Melissa in Minnesota. I hope you're ready. I have a huge empties bag here ready to walk you through. This is all the way back from December, but I know January. Let's go ahead and get started. I'm gonna touch on some of these. You guys have probably seen a lot of these brands. EO Products, Everyone, which is the same company. Uh, California Baby. Uh, we just got some brands that I absolutely love if you're looking for gluten-free options in the beauty world. A lot of these are cruelty-free, vegan, gr uh, green beauty, clean beauty. So the first product I've been using this, even though it's still winter, the Chocolate Sun. This is the Absolutely Sun. This is in the shade 3. I do buy it in shades two and three. One just isn't too light, doesn't do anything for me. I do tend to be on the pale scale, end of the scale. It look a little more tan because I have been using this. Normally I'll start with two, go to two, three, and by the end of midsummer, I'm using the three all uh, the time. I love this. This works on your body and your face. It does come with a pump, uh, but I had to use that on another uh, bottle because that one, the other pump got broken. Smells like chocolate. Uh, it just does a fabulous, no streak, natural, not orange. Just a, it does have like, I, it's, even though it's uh, one of the main ingredients is beet, um, it does not have that red undertone to it and no orange undertone. It just gives you a beautiful golden brown. So uh, I, I highly recommend this if you're looking for a tanning product. This also works well as a lotion. And I do have stockpiles of this. This is something I never want to be without. This is the only true to me, gluten-free product uh, as far as a self-tanner because I'm so sensitive, I've had no reaction to this. So highly recommend this if you're looking for that alternative option with the self-tanning. The Everyone Kids Soap, this is a 3-in-1 shampoo body wash. Bow Bath this is a certified gluten-free product. This is in the orange squeeze. This is a nice, refreshing, invigorating scent. Not overly orange scented and you're not going to smell like an orange when you get out of the shower. The Now Nutra Shave, uh, this is a smooth or soothe and nourish. Um, my husband and uh, son, oldest son, shave, they use this and they really liked it. But my husband actually likes Dr. Bronner's. Uh, it's in the blue tube. He likes that shaving uh, gel a little better, so that's what he's using right now. But uh, yeah, would pick this up and they seem to really enjoy it. California Baby, this is a hair conditioner. This is the tea tree and lavender. I really like this in the winter time. My skin gets really dry, my scalp gets dry, and this works really well. However, I will say that I found that for some reason, for whatever reason, this seemed to have like a buildup on my hair. Maybe because I'm, I don't know if you guys can tell, I have um, dyed my hair. I use Madison Reed. That's the only hair color I use. Uh, I went with a Voltaire. I'm in this purple theme. Voltaire Amethyst is the color. So, yeah, six weeks and uh, it is just starting. I can tell a little bit of the regrowth up here and some grays popping through, but the color has lasted incredibly well. It was a little more violet or amethyst when I first did it and it's lightened out but I like the look of um really I took some pictures and uh in those photos my hair just looks really dark but you can't tell there's a purple tint to it so it really depends on whether I'm in the direct light that the color shines through and I like that it kind of gives me a different vibe <laughs> you know but I found that this kind of left like a for one I had to shampoo my hair normally I only shampoo it every uh, let's say three, four days. I was shampooing every two days when I used this and I just, it just left a buildup of oil. It just seemed a little too heavy. Uh, the Everyone Kids Soap. I actually use this as a hand soap. I filled our hand soap dispensers. This is a Tropical Coconut Twist. This was really good. A little too much uh, fruitiness going on for me in the shower. Yeah, it's a great, it almost smells a little bit, no, I smell the pineapple. More pineapple than, I think, coconut. But uh, it was a great scent, but just a little too much for me in the shower, and I loved it as a hand soap, so it worked out really well. Everyman Jack Body Wash. This is in the Cedarwood. My sons absolutely love this. I will say it's a little too strong for my my liking. Um, I don't use this. My husband and my teen boys use this. This is a Cedarwood. I picked up a couple of these from Pharmaca. Uh, my son loves the deodorant by uh, this by Everyman Jack. So this is a gluten-free. Not all of their products are gluten-free, but this one is. If you're sensitive like me to uh, scents, this may be a little overpowering for you as well. But again, I'm not using it. I usually turn on the, um, we have a whole house uh, air 
purifier so I'll turn that on and then it kind of dissipates that smell a little bit but just want to make you guys aware of that it's great for them it it just it works really well they absolutely love it I will continue to buy it but um yeah it's not something I could use personally so just making you guys aware if you've watched me you've probably heard me say that the desert essence this is the coconut hair defrizzer and heat protector I really did like this but I have found a root pretty their hair products and so I've started to use those I will have a video coming up with that soon and for some reason I don't know if you guys could tell this I've never had the bottle do this before but there's like a buildup and it's like I don't know coconut particles so the pump kept clogging and it was so frustrating with this one and I this is probably the third one I've had I'm going to say in the past six years that I've been buying uh, gluten-free items and uh, yeah I just I don't know what's the deal with that but I was not very happy with this one so I don't know whether they changed the formulas really. The Everyone Balance Shampoo my son older son was using this it has tea tree and sulfate free for smooth and shiny hair my older son really liked this scent he liked the way this worked for his hair there's some natural products that he doesn't care for because like the California Baby Conditioner Sometimes he claims that the shampoos leave his hair feeling a little bit more greasy. This one doesn't do that. He likes that. And I believe the conditioner, the partner to this one is in their bathroom now. And he's just using that with another EO. I can't remember which one. I think it's the Nourish. This is the Balance. I believe he has Nourish in there now and really likes that. Continuing with the EO products, the Lotion Coconut Lemon. This is my favorite scent. Absolutely love their Coconut Lemon. I bought it and maybe I even have a three-in-one or... I don't not in this not in this empties but this is the hands face and body I love this lotion this is amazing again this is one that I've been buying for the past six years so you know it's a favorite and I will continue to repurchase that the everyone this is the unscented in the um three in one the shampoo body wash and bubble bath uh this is unscented it smells really good I would buy this again I love this as a face wash just want to let you guys know and <laughs> <laughs> keep coming back to this they do make essential oils and I love to make my own essential oil so I will mix this usually peppermint and rosemary are my favorite I like to do that and yeah highly recommend that nature's gate this is the cream de menthe toothpaste I love this no carrageenan uh, it is uh, certified gluten free there are, it's just free of a lot of things um, paraben free fluoride free vegan non GMO I've been using the Natrix gate toothpaste for quite a while now really enjoy it will repurchase that have repurchased it uh, the desert essence the tea tree oil and neem toothpaste and wintergreen this is fluoride free gluten free uh, it does have baking soda and essential oils of wintergreen my husband and sons love this flavor so they use this this does have carrageenan in it in case um, that matters to you so letting you guys know uh, another EO product, this is the uh, Organic Spray Deodorant. This is in the scent French Lavender. I've been using this the past, since I went gluten-free and started looking for deodorant, so let's say five plus years. And um, I, I'm getting off of that lavender kick. My husband doesn't care for lavender for one, and it's just a scent that I've used for so long now, and I'm looking for other things. Uh, they do have four scents. They have tea tree. Have not tried that one. They have the citrus. Do like that one. And the vetiver. Have that one now. Love that. We'll continue to buy that. So, and I would continue to buy the lavender if it was a scent. That spray deodorant works really well. Um, this is a perfect one. I'm going to go back to this and say this is perfect for if you're getting out of the shower at night and you want a deodorant on, this works really well to spray on at night. It also helps whatever you put on in the morning to work. So it works all day long, especially in the natural uh, deodorant realm. Sometimes you find that some deodorants don't tend to be um, as effective and this kind of helps that. But I can wear this alone and uh, it, it works really well. It's not an antiperspirant. It is a deodorant. So it's not going to stop you from from sweating most natural deodorants do not but I don't have any issue I um, with over production of sweat and I actually found when I use this it's the less uh, don't spray this on after on freshly shaved underarms though I will warn you of that it's like ouchie <laughs> the honey bee gardens is one of the one of the very few uh, hairsprays that I have found this smells really good like mint but one of the few hairsprays that I have found that is actually gluten-free so um, 
I did find the Hair Care by Root Pretty and I'm using their hairspray. Really like that so I will use that for now but this is definitely one that I would pick up again and yeah it's alcohol free which works really well especially on color treated hair because it's not going to over dry your hair but uh, no parabens and uh, phthalates, no artificial colors, fragrances. It's organic botanical ingredients. Highly recommend this. Would repurchase that. I have two of these. These are the doctor formulated probiotics. You do not have to refrigerate. Do not have to refrigerate these. Um, this is by Garden of Life. I have two of these. I take a pro probiotic every day. I've found since I've been doing that, I've gotten a lot better. I did have, I mentioned, um, hopefully the video came up before this, but if not, you guys will hear this now. I did suffer from depression. I do have anxiety. That's one reason I did not film. Um, I just, I can't fake it. I'm a Scorpio. <laughs> we're going to say it like it is, and we're not going to do it if we don't feel it, and that's kind of the way it was. <laughs> okay. There are 30 capsules in here. I'm on another one now. These are... Let's see, 16 probiotic strains. They're gluten-free, dairy-free, and soy-free. I am gluten-free, also dairy intolerant, so I have been for, gosh, I don't know. Um, I kind of had issues with things along the way, and I noticed that throughout my gluten-free journey, but within the last two years, I've been dairy-free. So I uh, highly recommend these. I just feel better when I take these, so it really Gut health really affects the rest of your body, so if you're looking for that, do a little bit of research, see what works better for you. Depotted, it didn't go very well. Um, all of my red apple lipstick blushes, this was <laughs> not easy, but I'm, I just like the palettes better. This just works better. It's a lot easier than having individual little pans that you're doing. Um, but there was no way to get this out. I took the bottom off first. There's no hole to pop out. Oops. I thought maybe it was magnetic. There, there was no hole to pop out. They were actually glued in. And then, of course, you had the clear top that you screwed on. And so, I don't know. I just, within the last two, maybe three years, I really just haven't been reaching for these that much. And so, I thought, well, I'll try to depot them. And like I said, some, they were cracked. They were breaking. Um, I did find when I used alcohol to try to repair them, it changed the color of those. So, I gave some away. I threw some away. And, yeah, I, I now... I think I only have maybe one or two out of the six that I had left of the red apple lipstick um, blushes. But wanted to let you guys know what happened to that. Uh, I would recommend these over, gosh, I've tried a lot of essential oils and I really do like these. This is the Aromatherapy Blend in Balance. You guys saw that I had the, uh, sh the shampoo in balance but I, this is a scent I use this on the wool dryer balls in my dryer I use this to scent the everyone um, unscented soap I, I just love this this works really well for anything like that highly recommend that scent I do have another backup uh, I do have a lavender this is the uh, aromatherapy singles not the blends so they do have blends that has different oils in it and I don't have my glasses on to read which blends or which oils are in here to make this blend but then they have the single uh, essential oils as well lavender I was using this in my dryer instead of using dryer sheets that you're kind of tossing out a more sustainable product to use the dryer balls with the essential oils and it just makes things a little better and you can control the you know that you're using essential oils so it's not synthetic or a co cocktail of whatever the fragrances the company wants to use you know there's non-toxic ingredients that are going into that uh 100 percent pure vitamin c serum this is actually let me see I didn't use very much of this. Um, I wanted it for age spots. I didn't use it like I wanted to, and it has actually gone bad now, so I'm tossing this. Um, I can't say I would repurchase this. I'm just looking for something that works for age spots. I need something that kind of helps that hyperpigmentation that I'm experiencing now at my age. EO's Transformative Night Serum with uh, Subaki and Rose. Uh, this was a great product. I like this, but uh, Rose was a little too... Yeah, I don't know. The florals, I couldn't do this at night. I just don't like to have scent on my on my skin at night. Um, just wasn't working for me. So, yeah, could not do that. Uh, the so Takasumi Detox Deodorant. Oh, my gosh. Uh, this is the Takasumi Detox, the Juicy Bamboo Scent. Um, 
there's a little bit left but um there's so little left that i try to use this and it falls out and then once it fell on my floor i'm like okay i'm done <laughs> so but i highly recommend this i have two of this scent i believe it's two of this scent in my backup i went ahead and bought the full size i bought a full size in the i think it's lime mint and uh nordic frost for my husband or my older son whichever decides they want to claim that one and i did pick up a sample of the um secure blossom now that is a floral scent and i don't usually care for floral scents so i'm trying those out right now as of the first of the year we kind of really did a deodorant overhaul in our household you really have to find deodorants in the uh, green non-toxic beauty world that actually work and this one does that desert essence the exfoliating italian lemon bar soap this is oh my gosh this soap bar is amazing i love i'm trying to do more sustainable i like things like this that i know i mean i can put this in my garden and it will compost there's nothing left the once you use the bar soap bar soap's gone paper's gone recyclable it's how good for the planet is that? I love stuff like this. I'm starting to work more into brands and products like this, but I like this. This makes me feel good. Here, one more product. This is the EO Organic Argon Face Oil with Avocado and Vitamin E. I was a little, I mean, it is a certified gluten-free product, but uh, this was a little too heavy for me. A little more in the scented, I don't know, my sense scale has um, really amplified so anything that kind of smells floral to me work really well if you were using it alone at night but if you try to put any type of makeup on i found that it was breaking that down so but if you're looking for something more hydrating you don't mind a little bit of a fragrance scent i guess this is not something that works well for me so i probably would not buy this again I've got a couple root products that are in here but i want to show you guys this um if you didn't know my hair i mentioned that madison reed is the brand that i love this was the one that i used volterra uh, violet kit um, what it comes with is the coloring kit is the tube of dyes and then the activator that comes in a bottle and you do get a pair of gloves now I do not use I am throwing these out I'm not even gifting well I could gift these I'm gonna keep these to gift the shampoo and conditioner too floral for me can't use it I just use my own shampoo and conditioner um, it does come with a cleansing wipe. You're going to want to use this. Works really well, especially considering it's violet or it's like, you know, amethyst violet color. So yeah, to get that <laughs> taken care of. And I don't have it here, but it does come with a barrier cream, which is almost not like a Vaseline because it's definitely more, uh, you put it on and there's definitely a layer, but it's not greasy. Um, that works to keep the dye from uh, coloring your skin. So you'll definitely want to have that. We are done. That's a lot of catching up to do on the products. But I really wanted to focus on using up what I had, not repurchasing a ton of more things, and just seeing what I really love. A lot of these brands, like EO products and everyone, I've been using for six years. So you know that they're going to re keep coming up. I just try different scents and things occasionally along the way, depending on if they get new uh, scents in their line. But uh, there are a couple... Like I mentioned in the uh, look video, I picked up their EO Roller Balls. And uh, so that was a new product that came out and perfect gift if you're looking for a gift for anyone that loves nice, clean um, perfumes. They're look or nice, clean uh, oils. They're looking for something, a perfume option that is safer, non-toxic, and uh, gluten-free. So, um, yeah, if you guys have any questions or anything, make sure you leave that down below. I hope you're all having a very fantastic day. Have a happy, healthy, and gluten-free day, and I will see you guys in my next video. Take care. Bye, guys. Mm -hmm.